There have been more than a handful of toy companies to produce wrestling figures over the last 35 years. But none of them more iconic than Hasbro's WWF line. New WWF figures. Hulk Hogan, a Macho King, Randy Savage, the Ultimate Warrior, and Andre the Giant. So close to the real thing, it's like being in the ring. World Wrestling Federation figures by Hasbro began in 1990, just after LJN's run of 8-inch hard rubber figures had ended. Hasbro would give collectors their first articulated WWF figures to date, standing around 4 inches tall. The assortment of figures spanned 11 series, 2 tag team sets, wrestling rings, and more, until very early 1995. To this day, Hasbro's WWF figures have maintained their popularity among all wrestling collectors. The line began with an assortment of 12 figures, choosing many household names for the first series. Akeem, Andre the Giant, Axe, and Smash, released separately. Brutus Beefcake, Big Boss Man, Paul Kogan, Jake the Snake Roberts, who came with the snake, Macho Man Randy Savage, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, Ravishing Rick Rude, and The Ultimate Warrior. Each figure had an action feature. What a maneuver! <clears throat> I mean, uh, series. Luckily for collectors who didn't want to use their massive old LJN ring, Hasbro released the now infamous blue ring with flag and championship belt. 1991 saw a second series and the second Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, who's now a king, Ted DiBiase, and Ultimate Warrior. all in new colors and attires. Also made for the series, Dusty Rhodes, Honky Tonk Man, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Jimmy Snuka, and Rowdy Rowdy Piper. 1991 also brought about the Tag Team series, which included the Rockers, the Bushwhackers, and Demolition, who are now packed with helmets. Demolition's lineup had changed, as Axe was no longer featured in the group and was replaced by Crush. It's thought that a Rhythm and Blues 2-pack would have been the fourth tag team in the set, but the duo were no longer teaming together before the figures went into production and were cancelled. 1992 hit with 12 new figures for collectors. Earthquake, Typhoon, Greg the Hammer Valentine, Coco Beware, Mr. Perfect, Sergeant Slaughter, and Texas Tornado. Also were more updated versions of Big Boss Man, Brutus Beefcake, Hulk Hogan, and Macho Man Randy Savage, who is no longer the king. For tag team wrestling fans, Legion of Doom's Hawk and Animal and the Nasty Boys were also produced in 1992. Trying to meet demand, Hasbro released more single-packed figures. Instead of a large 12-figure set, this time there were only four for Series 4, which included Bret Hart with a variant, British Bulldog, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and The Undertaker. This would be Undertaker's first action figure. Hindsight is 2020, as they say, and looking back in 1993, it was a turning point year for the WWF. They moved away from what wrestling fans coined the Golden Era, which was one of the hottest periods in wrestling, into the new generation, which was, well, not so much. But that didn't stop Hasbro from releasing popular and not so popular names into figure form for series five. Warlord, The Mountie, Skinner, Virgil, Rick Martel, Erwin R. Scheister, Jim Neidhart, and Sid Justice were made. And again, updated versions of Macho Man Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan were released. More wrestlers were made in 1993. 
The Month of May saw Berserker, El Matador Tito Santana, Papa Shango, Repo Man, Tatanka, and Ric Flair, who had just left the WWF a few months prior to return to WCW. Fun fact, Ric Flair was the first wrestler to have a WCW and a WWF figure, and AWA if you really want to dig deep. Three figures that could only be purchased through an order form featured in WWF Magazine were also available. Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, and Bret Hart, who has a purple heart on his singlet instead of a pink one. Released before 1994 was another WWF ring box set, this one King of the Ring themed. And good luck finding one these days. August 1993 saw even more figures, this time no longer on the blue carding, now with yellow for Series 7. Crush, Nails, Owen Hart, Razor Ramon, and Shawn Michaels. Also the most controversial figure in the series, and maybe out of the entire Hasbro WWF run, Kamala was released with a star on his belly. But according to wrestling figure folklore, there was also a Kamala with a moon on his belly, and it may have been limited to a few samples before being changed for mass release. Oddly, this series wasn't seen at Toys R Us, because the chain declined to carry the series due to slumping sales of the figures. With Series 8, the color of the carding changed to red. It was released around Christmas 1993 and into 1994. It included Bam Bam Bigelow, Bret Hart, Lex Luger, Mr. Perfect, The Undertaker, and Yokozuna. Series 9 was the first series released in 1994 on purple cards. Series 9 included Doink the Clown, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Tatanka, Million Dollar Man in Wrestling Tights, and Rick and Scott Steiner packaged individually. Brutus Beefcake in his Mega Maniac attire was supposed to come out, but he had already exited the WWF the year before in 1993. Series 10 went back to a blue card. Giant Gonzalez, Marty Jannetty, and more tag team wrestlers released in single packs. Bushwhackers Luke and Butch, and Head Shrinkers Fatu and Samu. Most collectors consider Razor Ramon in purple and red, and Shawn Michaels in white and also black, part of Series 10 because they were released with the same packaging as the others. But they wouldn't be seen on retail shelves until a few months later. Interest in the WWF figures had started declining, with names like Roddy Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan, and others leaving the WWF, popularity wasn't as strong with the wrestlers taking their place. As a result, the toys were less popular with collectors, and sales on the line were slumping. Unsure if there would even be another series, those actively collecting the line were surprised to find the final WWF set in stores around January 1995. Produced in more limited numbers, the Green Card series was released. Featuring 123 Kid, Ludwig Borga, Atom Bomb, Bart Gun, Billy Gun, Yokozuna, and Crush. Overall, I think there are about 102 figures made if you count the magazine Mill Away exclusives. Discussions of another series labeled Orange Cards have been bantered about for decades. Where did the rumor begin? Well, a couple toy magazines would mention the possibility of their release, haunting collectors for decades to come. Some speculated that the Mannix line of Hasbro bootlegs showed off what would have been the new figures to the Hasbro line, including Diesel. But years later, sketches for the unreleased set showed off what would have been. And you can find them with a quick Google search. In 2019, a Doink and Lex Luger prototype surfaced on eBay, fetching thousands of dollars for each figure. WWF Hasbro's reputation and popularity has continued well into the 2010s. This is evident by Mattel releasing WWE Retros, 10 series of Hasbro-styled figures featuring names from the past and present. They even released their own blue ring. While this line was cut short, it did give collectors a diesel all these years later, and a few other names that likely would have been made had the Hasbro line continued into the Attitude Era of wrestling. 
I may have been too young to find the WWF figures in stores, but I remember my brothers collecting these toys, even inheriting their Macho Man and Ted DiBiase figures, which I still have to this day. As a teenager, I had the bug to collect them all, and even came very close. But one of my biggest regrets is selling off the majority of my collection a few years ago, with the exception of these few. And now here I am. Look at this goofball. Looking at all the figures now is like staring into a time capsule that was the golden age of wrestling figure collecting. Hey, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Most of you probably know about our eBay shop, but now you can find us in Indianapolis. Check out our Facebook for the details. And for everyone else, subscribe for more action figure history and go to figurecollections.com for the most complete wrestling figure database on the internet.